We're here with Martin Casales, who goes by a few different names, but you might know him as Marty the Moth Martinez. Thank you so much for being on with us, Marty. Oh, no worries. Thanks for the time, guys. Um, you know, you wrestle in Lucha Underground. Uh, we kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that. Uh, didn't they just uh, record season four? That's right. We just got done shooting season four a couple weeks ago. Um, and then we just announced June 13th. We're going back on air, uh, airing season four. So I'm like, really excited about it. That's awesome. Uh, what was it like this, this season? I, I'm sure there's a lot you can't say, but, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm sure you had a blast. Uh, I didn't think it was possible, but things got crazier and more violent. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's the- uh, we do have a new temple. We do have a new temple. It's called the Ice Temple, I believe they're calling it. Um, and uh, it was a different environment, but the same environment at the same time. So it was pretty cool. I'm really excited for all you guys to see it. Yeah. Were you involved at all with the Impact and uh, Lucha Underground promotion that was going on in New Orleans? I think it was. I did, yeah. Uh, Famous B announced me out, and I went and wrestled Trevor Lee from Impact oh, on nice. the Impact and Lucha show. Has, uh, that, fun. has that one aired already? Uh, well, that one was the just uh, that was yeah that was on Twitch or something for WrestleMania weekend. That yeah. was just Lucha versus Impact. Mm-hmm. So that one aired. That was live. That aired live. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, that's already aired. Okay, yeah, I've seen I've seen some of it on Hulu. I just wasn't sure. I, if I had uh, come across that one just yet, you know, with you, you've done WWE Tough Enough and uh, Lucha Underground. Uh, how important is has it been for you to learn, you know, all these different styles? Very important. Um, I wrestle a lot in Mexico. Um, I was in Japan last year. Like, it's very important just because, especially Lucha Underground, there's, everybody has a different style. And then I assume they're going to keep bringing more people in. Um, so I always want to be prepared and basically the more stuff, you know, the better you get. So Absolutely. Yeah. I'd like to get as best as that I can, man. Watching Lucha underground, it's been, uh, hilarious, a little scary, <laughs> you know, all this combined, man, this has got to be like your favorite run so far in your pro wrestling career, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think it's going to be the last big run. I think that, that like, I think wrestling overall is going to, in a very big way coming up here soon. And I'm super stoked at kind of my positioning in the whole thing. And this is definitely like my funnest and most enjoyable run so far. Absolutely. Especially after you guys see season four, that's going to be fun to watch. (laughs) I'm ready for it, man. I got to say what you hit on was right, man. Just as like, man, I grew up a wrestling fan my whole life, you know, and you know, man, you know, WrestleMania would come out or a pay-per-view would come out and you had to go rent the tape on that Blockbuster, you know, just waiting for that stuff to come out. But now, man, we just, you're able to go to, you know, we go to these local events here in Oklahoma City, man, that's where we met you. And now with social media, everything is everywhere. And you, it's just on a rise, man. Where does like your take, you say it's going up, but like, where has been like the, I don't know, man, the catalyst for all this, where, you know, where everything's changed uh, for the pro wrestling yeah. business? Absolutely, I've been of the internet. The internet's making it completely possible for for there to be. I can see stuff in Japan now. I knew yeah. I was wrestling in Japan before when you had to like get VHS tapes. I got a VHS player, by the way. Oh, <laughs> man. So I was looking everywhere for that. But back in the day, you couldn't see who was wrestling in Japan. You couldn't see what's happening in Mexico unless you're like at up at midnight at twelve thirty watching Univision. Yeah, um, you couldn't see that stuff. So now I think with advent of social internet social media and the internet that's you can see every single style everyone can see there's a different style in japan different style in uh america a different style over in mexico i think this is forcing everybody to get better as a whole and making fans more aware now just more fans need to be aware there's other stuff out there than the mainstream that's right man i agree a thousand percent it's a lot of you know the other product wwe's great it's fun to watch all that kind of stuff man but like with lucha underground uh it kind of it's a whole different world, man. And uh, people need to be checking that out. It's on the El Ray Network. Is that right? El Ray Network and Netflix. Yeah. Check out season. Hopefully season three gets on there soon, but I have no idea if it is going to happen or if it, if, when it's going to happen. So I have no insight information yeah. on that. But I'm hoping it's soon. Yeah. Yeah, we're on <laughs> Netflix and El Ray. Um, I think Lucha is in the uh, kind of category of its own because we're a TV show yeah. instead of a wrestling show. Right. So how many – 
how many people have died in the WWE that is like, oh, that's a fun storyline. You don't want people to die in the WWE. In Lucha Underground, people, we, how many people we kill on purpose? Like, <laughs> I mean, we'll just bring them back from dead and, <laughs> later if it if fits the story. But it, it, you, you don't see that stuff in other – you don't want to see that stuff in right. wrestling. You are, but we can have uh, Katrina teleporting back and forth. You can have me kidnapping and torturing people. <laughs> um, like you don't get to see that and believe that as much everywhere right. else where it's Travis and TV. I love that aspect about it. Yeah. I, I wanted to ask you because Marty the Moth is a madman in the ring. <laughs> 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 and you know, I've seen I've, I've I've seen some of your interviews and stuff. How how different is Marty the Moth from Martin Casales? Because I remember one match I saw you had opened a guy up, like you had slammed his head on the turnbuckle. And you had the blood on your arm, and you licked it. I was like, maybe later were you like, uh, why did I do that? <laughs> Girlfriend does. She just gets that angry at me every single time I do that. And she's right here and she me things. And, yeah. <laughs> um, it's funny because Krista Joseph, he's the head writer of Lucha Underground, he said he writes the characters for the people that he assigns the characters to. Uh-huh. So I don't know if that means. I'm actually psycho and torture women. Maybe I probably did that when I was younger. Um, but I think there's a little piece of everybody in, there should be a little piece of everybody in the character they play. Yeah. Um, especially a character of mine where I'm not under a mask or anything like that. Yeah. So I there's a, there's a very big uh, correlation between the two. I just, it's turned, it's Martin Casals turned up to 12 instead of six. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you're a DC Comics guy, right? Uh, I saw that. Heck yeah, but Marvel's kicking our ass, man. This is oh, program. I know. Are you gonna go see Avengers though? I am. I have, okay. I will. I'm a DC guy through and through. But ah. I I have not been so excited about a movie. In, <laughs> I am geeking out. Like I haven't been excited since like the original Power Rangers movie when I was like ten years old. Yeah. Like nice. I am stoked like a little girl for this movie. So who's your favorite DC character? I've got to go with Superman. Superman? The soup. That's my dude. Yeah. Soup's and Batman. Batman is a very, very close second. And Soup's is my man. See, I, I, I was thinking you might pick a villain, you know, uh, just based off of Marty the <laughs> a Moth. Particular one, a particular <laughs> one. Time. You do have that laugh, man. So Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, the funny thing about that is uh, they put in one of my uh, – then yet at the end it said like maniacal laugh and then the first thing that came to my mind was you know who yeah so i'm like how do i do a maniacal laugh well, and whatever came out came out and everyone's like oh <laughs> so there's definitely some inspiration from good old joker yeah yeah absolutely i i, I think comics and wrestling goes hand in hand anyway so you know has that influenced you with your characters over the years Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you, I, I've always wanted to be a superhero slash supervillain. Yeah. Well, I always wanted to be a superhero, but now I realize being a villain is so much more fun. It is fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, absolutely. I, I go, I actually, I do a lot of research on uh, serial killers, too. Um, so it's like DC characters. What, why do people like this particular character? Why do they hate this particular character? And then I mix that in with some serial killer research. And out pops Mario the Moth. Nice, man, nice, that's awesome, man. Speaking of inspiration, though, like, so how did you, man? This is what you want to do. You want to be in the pro wrestling business. You wanted to be a part of this. Was there a character, a favorite wrestler, something that said, "Hey, man, this is it for me. This is what I want to be a part of." Actually, it was uh, the original guy that got me into wrestling was Bill Goldberg. Okay. I was in high school. I came in late. You said you were kids, like you were kids growing up, and you loved wrestling. Mm. I wasn't. I didn't even really find out about wrestling until the Monday Night Wars. Right. Okay. So like when Hulk Hogan was there, I didn't know who Hulk Hogan was. I knew Hollywood Hogan. I'm like, yeah. he's red. So what's the big deal? I don't get it. Um so Bill Goldberg was there and I was playing football at that time. So he speared someone to the left. So I thought that was just so cool. Then eventually WCW shut down and then I really said, Oh my gosh, I kinda wanna do this when I saw the guy named Shawn Michaels. Yeah. So uh, I'm actually going to the Cauliflower Alley this weekend, um, where Shawn Michaels himself is getting an award. So that'd be kind of cool to see him face to face again. Man, that is cool. That's got to be just you know some guy that you you know you looked up to, and it's 
man, it's coming full circle. You get to see him receive a reward, be a part of the whole situation. Like you said, seeing face to face, man, you got to feel like you're making a mark a little bit into this industry, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I was thinking the other day, there's some guys throwing around ideas like, "Hey, how can we get better with wrestling? I'm get better." I'm like, I know someone I can ask. And I text Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I'm like, "What a crazy world where I could just, hey, man, I'm looking for wrestling advice. Let's text Stone Cold Steve Austin." <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it, it, and the, the, when I worry about, when I lose my phone, I always worry about like, Hey, there's some numbers in there that probably shouldn't be spread around. <laughs> but when I look at that every day, I'm like, wow, there's some numbers in there that are pretty cool. That 18 year old me would probably do like backflips and go insane for like a little girl. Definitely. Cause 33 year old, the one does still. Yeah. Yeah. Still does. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I still like to, uh, I like to rub it in Will's face that Jenny McCarthy called my cell phone once. What? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it was back in my radio days. So <laughs> he, he told that story on one of the podcasts, man, and I just, <laughs> I was like, man, you're just name dropping. You're just saying stuff for the podcast. You got to, <laughs> you got to. You wouldn't you? Yeah, Come on, that's uh, Jim McCarthy. I sorry. Yeah, yeah, all day. So uh, I you're gonna at the end of a back backlash. I think I went to, and she was there, man. I'd be bragging too. Yeah, yeah, they're nice. <laughs> uh, wh- what's coming up for you? Uh, you said you're going to be in Texas this weekend. Yeah, this weekend I'm going to be in Victoria, Texas, uh, with 2G Promotions. I actually get to kick my buddy uh, Matt Cross in the face, son of Havoc. If you're familiar with uh, that old realm, it's the same person. Right. Spoiler. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be there in Texas. It'll be exciting. Now my buddy Kevin Cross will be there as well. Then I'm going to go to California Alley. I'm actually, I fly home first for like three hours. Then I fly back to Los Angeles. I'm in Los Angeles until Thursday. Um, I start a six or a 1% fitness challenge, actually, boom, 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 there where I'm go. actually doing a six week fitness challenge. So that's going to be horrible because I have to give up Pepsi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still working on a movie, actually, currently called Tough Enough. Uh, not Tough Enough, it, uh, Good Enough is what it's called, actually. Um, so a lot of stuff happening. My vlog I'm doing every single Monday, uh, is out there. We I'm on a network called wrestling with wrestling. So thanks guys. Uh, it's busy. It's good. And it's yeah. all I'm super stoked in my cut. I can't believe this is my life sometimes. And, uh, you were mentioning YouTube. What's the other social media that you have that people can follow you? Cause I, I got a t-shirt from you not too long ago off of your Facebook. Man, you're not wearing it right now. What is up with that? I had to wear the uh, Count Chocula shirt today. I, I apologize. I it, I kind of felt like it might be like one of those wearing the band shirt when you go to the band show kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> is that what every single person does, though? Yeah, yeah. they do. I'm, yeah. They do. Uh, I'm buddies with uh, Kill Switch Engage, and I will still wear their sweater every single time to the show, and it's going to be hot as hell. I don't care. I'm going to wear it. Yeah. I'm going to wear it. No, but Count Chocula, I can't hit against that. Um, I'm actually on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Martin Casals. If you don't know how to spell my last name, I don't care if you know how to say it, Google Marty the Moth. It's right there. You'll find all of my social media right there. MartinCasals.com. I'm actually running some sweet deals. I have a Aztec Pride lunchbox. If you're very familiar with Lucha Underground. That's all the giveaway, man. The giveaway, yeah. yeah. I'll have that on my website very, very soon. Um, and maybe I'll include a fork in there just for fun. Mm. Um, <laughs> if you ever saw the Loose Underground Aztec Pride lunchbox, I pulled the fork out and stabbed you. <laughs> I saw that tonight, as a matter of fact, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's on there. So go find me and write me messages. This is how this happened with these guys right here. They yeah. found me. We met them at a show. We talked on social media. So I respond to fans. Go find me, follow me, and Get some stuff. Get in contact. Yeah. All right. I got one more question for you, man. Because yep, I'll question all day, bro. You know, man. Here's the thing. I, you know, I, I brought my son in here before we kind of got started. He had to say hi to you, man. He, he, you know, he came to the Oklahoma City show. And uh, man, are you coming back anytime soon to Oklahoma City? Uh, it was talked about, and then it got canceled. So we'll see. Hopefully in the near future, but uh, nothing on schedule yet. So. Man, we'd love to have you, man. Yeah, I'd love to be there. Yeah, right yeah, I don't. We will, we will. Oh heck yeah! Man. <laughs> Oklahoma was a fun state. Well, that was a fun one, except for the Lucha crowd, and they really don't like me. The no, they didn't Latino, like you at all. <laughs> they didn't like me at all. The Latino crowd does not like me at all. I'm half Mexican people. Why do y'all hate me? That's, that's half. Mexican. 
I get thrown beer at me. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Martin, thank you so much for coming on, and uh, we hope to have you back on uh, someday soon, and hopefully, you know, see you back in Oklahoma City real soon. I hope so. I'll see you all in Oklahoma City soon, and I'll see you all on June 13th at Netflix and Lucha Underground.